Okay guys, this is Cruzroy. I want to talk to you about the few mods going on, but particularly one, the NLD app.exe mod. It just came out. Um, I also have the DJI Assistant 2 debugged and also running on my PC. If you install it again and just send it to a different folder like on your desktop, you can have another copy of the old DJI Assistant 2. You're going to need these two to run together to mod the drone. And this one here is for debugging, whichever you choose to do. There's videos out there on how to debug and change parameters, but this video is about the NLDA app. All right, first off, I'm going to show you their website. Um, it's nolimitdrones.com and it pretty much shows you what it looks like it's pretty basic it's pretty simple it tells you that it works on everything that runs off the DJI Assistant 2 but not the Phantom 3 standard nor Phantom 2 series or the Phantom 1 and they do have instructions they're still working on it because as I was trying it I figured out that I can't use the debugged version of the Assistant 2 We'll call it the S2. Um, if it's debugged, it won't work with this. It just supposedly puts too much information into the new software, confusing it. Um, so what you can do here is you can download it. They have a download page. Um, the only thing is it won't work unless you get a key. The first people that showed up were actually getting a free activation, uh, but now you have to pay for it. Uh, if you think about it, it's well worth it. It's $24.99, and you'll get a key, and um, it activates the product when you go to mod your drone. When you hit the mod button, you can pretty much do everything you want and look at it. You just can't mod the drone without the activation key. Um, they have a guide, uh, which is just the instructions. Uh, pretty straightforward. Like I said, you just can't use the modded DJI S2 program. Um, it just won't work. So you need the old style. Uh, they have videos on YouTube, just one so far, um, just on an altitude mod, uh, the blog, and then of course the contact button. And if you look over here on the right hand side, there's an online button and usually there and you can talk to them uh, which is pretty cool because it's probably a million and a half questions um, so let me show you what it's all about this is their web page I'm gonna close it down um, like I said what you need to do it's pretty simple you start the NLD app I run everything in administrator so it only concentrates on those apps um, so you start that up and there it is it's all it looks like and what it's asking for please start the DJI assistant 2 uh, this means the original program from DJI it won't work with any modded S2 programs or anything um, and what you can change is you have ultra sport it changes the tilt angle how fast it goes up, how fast it goes down. Uh, in sport mode, same thing, up and down. Um, if your drone has the no-fly zone in the firmware, it can disable it. Uh, return to home speed. Uh, everything's meters per second. So you have your speed and you have your return home speed. You can change that. And of course, altitude, 500 plus, um, you can disable that limit. So, let me open up the old DJI S2 program. Again, I'll run that in Administrator. Okay, what I don't have on right now is I do have the Phantom Floor plugged into my USB port on my PC. Um, let me just slide these out so you can see both. But Another thing, please use DJI compatible cords. If you don't, 
you're gonna brick your drone but it can recover from the software it's just a pain um, so I'm gonna turn on the Phantom and let's look over at this window the assistant 2 has started the no limits drone has started and now it's saying the Phantom 4 is connected and now it's getting the firmware information so it usually takes a few minutes or seconds and um, and it'll analyze it and it checks it and there's my information uh, do not push the Phantom 4 button on the S2 program you don't need to this works in conjunction with the software to program your drone uh, so now that my drone is fired up it says it's connected and it says ready like I said the other thing is if it's grayed out my firmware is not completely updated yet so I don't have the no-fly zone and I can't change the speed what I can do is the ultra sport modes and the altitude 500 plus which I'll do right now I'm going to disable that and what it is no limits drones from what I understand they recommend that you bring your Phantom 4 or your Mavic or Inspire 2 up to its uh, earliest firmware so it would have all these restrictions and then this thing will go in and disable everything what I want to say about the altitude 500 I did it on my other drone when you go into the DJI DJI go 4 app it still says 500 is maximum but you won't get the warning it'll go past 500 meters and it just won't give you the warning and it won't stop all right so I'm not going to change any of this information now um, you can I can change the up speed and the tilt the tilt is going to give you the speed that it flies at I guess more tilt of an angle but um, I'm just doing the altitude 500 plus my drone is connected the reason for the key is when you hit this button mod your bird it's going to ask you for your activation code that you purchased mine is already in the software because I've already done it so it's not going to ask me so I'm going to do it right now mod your bird and right over here it's going to say all values were written successfully to the bird you just hit OK and now you just shut down your phantom and you can close your two softwares and you're all done it was as easy as that click click bang bang let's go flying I still have to do some tests but this is Cruz Roy I hope that helped you out with the NLD app from no limit drones .com. and if you need help just text them they'll text you right back on their online server and have fun flying keep the skid sides down